Alright, this is going to be a quick tutorial on laying out UVs on a polygon object. And I just have this dude that I've been working on modeling here. And uh, so we'll get started anyway. So right now I'll select him. We want to see what his UVs look like. We'll go under Window, UV Texture Editor, and we'll look. And you'll see right there that um, the UVs are just really a mess. So basically what I do at this point is I'll go in here in the UV texture editor window and I'll right, hold down right mouse button UV select all of them and just polygons delete UVs and this way we start fresh and he doesn't have any UVs when we um, when we select them now in this window next thing we'll do is we're going to hold down right mouse, right mouse button when we have him selected assign new material Lambert and we'll call this um, body UVs and this is the way I do it so I want to start laying out the UVs on and basically what I'll do is I'll go edit and I like to use the paint selection tool I'll hold down control and shift and click on the left mouse button and it adds it into the shelf. I'm going to delete this one because I already put one on the shelf. So when I select, I go face and use the paint selection tool. And basically, I can just, um, oh, I guess I need to select face after I do it. Okay. And I um, paint the faces that I want to start mapping. And I just want to make sure that. Um, if I paint some I don't want to hold down control and it does the inverse so that's a good enough spot for right now basically with those selected let me open up my UV texture editor so we can see what's going on inside of it I'm gonna go under create UVs planar mapping and I'm gonna go in the options okay I want to fit the best plane so best plane for the first option the axis to project from, well, the body part that I painted is actually, it's facing Z. Z is facing it. You can look at your little gizmos here and see that Z is facing it. So we'll do the Z axis and we'll keep everything else at default. I'm going to click project. And now, when you look in the UV texture editor, you see that. Um, we now have really nice, clean, laid out UVs for a part of his stomach. Alright. Now in the UV texture editor, I'll hold down the right mouse button. You can select edge, vertex, face. I usually do UV. You can drag. Select all of them. Or, you can select one. Hold down control. Click the right mouse button to shell and it selects all of them in that shell. Now we want to see if the map, if the UVs we're putting on there are nice and clean. So that material that we just created earlier, body UVs, right here, we're actually going to go in this checker box here and we're going to map to it. And we're going to map a checker just for now. And then minimize that. Now when I select this, you'll see the checker pattern in my UV texture editor window in the 0 to 1 space here. I'll usually go image, dim image, so that you can see the UVs better. Now in order to see them in the viewport, we have 5 on the keyboard hit right now. It's shaded mode, 4 would go to wire, 6 will show textures. So now you can see what happened there. Basically, so far right now, we have really nice UVs laid out in that spot. And what I do is I just go back to shaded mode. And um, I'll select the border here where I know that they're not laid out yet. And then paint selection tool, face. I'll hold down B and left mouse button and I can change the size of my paintbrush here. You'll see the 
circle changing. So that's just holding down B and then dragging the left mouse, holding down left mouse button two and dragging. And I'll just paint some more. Yeah. That's, you know, you probably want to cover more area than that for one time, but just for this tutorial, planar mapping, options. Again, this is facing down Z, best plane, project. And we have, I'm going to do the two shell and move it out of the way. Now you see that we have the two different parts of the UVs we laid out. And we can actually see what's going on here. Now I'll select edge, hold down right mouse button edge, and select an edge. And you'll notice that it's highlighting the, um, let's make this bigger, it's highlighting the corresponding edge where it would, where it would line up. So I know that in order to put these together, you have to pretty much sew them together. You can rotate, you can move, and I just want to get them to fit here about as nicely as I can. And I'll show you why we're, why we're doing this. When you look on the body now, it's two different, two separate UV patches. I can move it, and there's going to be a seam right here, real bad, right? We want as little as seams as possible. So in order to do that, we need to sew these UVs together. So we go back in the UV texture editor, and we go edge, and we just select the edge that, where the seam is that we want to sew. Hold down shift, select more edges. And under polygons, you can sew UV edges, which will kind of stretch it out. I don't like that. I undo it. I go move and sew UV edges. So it kind of moves it. Now, when I hold down right mouse button and UV to shell, select the whole shell, it's all one piece. And there's no seam there at all and it's really nice and clean and we're basically doing the using the checker pattern just to see how nice and even the UVs are laying out and that they're not stretched we can actually if you like to view them smaller the machine's lagging because of the capture if you want to view them smaller you can scale it up and you get smaller checkers Now this is a good UV layout in this model. When we go back into our material, this Lambert, instead of mapping the checker into here, we would map our image that we painted in Photoshop onto this. And since you know that the checker pattern is nice and square and even, the um, image you paint in Photoshop will lay on it nice and even. I'll show you what it looks like when it's not. And if it was like this, look how the UVs are stretched out and all nasty looking. So we know our image from Photoshop will lay on this nice and clear and clean. And um, basically you just work your way around the body like that. Just a piece at a time sewing together. That's how I do it.